Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is May 26th. This episode is related to Ehang. First, let's review the recent stock movement for Ehang. As discussed previously, the EH stock is expected to follow the overall stock market in general. Here is the comparison between EH stock and QQQ NASDAQ ETF index. The lower chart curve is for EH stock, and the upper chart curve is for QQQ. The comparison is for the past three months. The horizontal axis is for the time. The time range is three months. The vertical axis is for the stock price percentage change. As you can see, in the past three months, EH has followed the NASDAQ index well. Both reached the low here on March 14th. Then the index and EH recovered for about three weeks and reached the high here on April 4th. Then the index and EH continued the downtrend for about five weeks and reached the low here on May 11th. Then two weeks later, the index and EH both reached the low here on May 24th, which was Tuesday, two days ago. For the past two days, the index and EH recovered a bit. In the past three-month period, the QQQ Nasdaq index has dropped by about 16%, and EH has dropped by about 46%. Historically and statistically speaking, the month May is bad for stock market, and this year's May is no difference. Going forward, EH is expected to continue to follow the Nasdaq index in general. But the significant stock price adjustment may be made by the EH216 type certificate granting. No one can predict the exact stock price adjustment amount, which depends on random factors such as how many new investors will join and buy and change the stock supply and demand at the time of the certificate granting. Due to the stock downtrend and the current poor general market sentiment, in the short term, only the type certificate granting may be able to serve as the catalyst to boost the EH stock. Without the type certificate, there may be no other events including pre-orders that can significantly increase the revenues. For Ehang fans and investors, the most important concern is the exact granting date for the type certificate. The previous type certificate guidance from the Ehang management is the mid-year, which may indicate either in June or in July. The uncertainty time range is two months. The stock market does not like uncertainty. Any news that can reduce the uncertain time range is positive for the EH stock. As you may know, Ehang will soon report its first quarter 2022 unaudited financial results on Tuesday, May 31st next week. Hopefully, the earnings report for Q1 2022 may provide the improved guidance on the type certificate granting date. With regards to the type certificate granting and the subsequent commercial flight launch, there is a recent Weibo post from Ehang that may provide an indirect hint. In the past, Ehang has provided some Weibo posts with hints that turned out to be true later. Here is the related Ehang Weibo post submitted days ago on May 22nd. The post message says, Summer is coming, and so is your advanced romance. Let's check the hint from the post. Summer is coming, and so is your advanced romance. The picture for the post indicates that the advanced romance is related to taking EH216 flights for couples in love and the flights will be available in the summer. It also indicates that the flights are generic and broadly available to the public, and therefore, considered as being commercial. Let's discuss the commercial flight launch time and the type certificate granting time. The commercial flight service is expected to be available in the summer, which includes June, July, and August. This may be still consistent with the guidance of type certificate in mid-year, which is considered as the period that includes June and July. The type certificate granting may occur as early as in June. This is the best case scenario. The type certificate granting may also occur in July. This is within the expected time range by the management guidance. It is noted that there may be some time needed for commercial flight preparation after obtaining the type certificate. It may be considered normal if the type certificate is granted in July and the commercial flight is launched one month later in August. The stock market does not like uncertainty, but may have the patience to wait a bit longer as long as the uncertainty is narrowed or removed. So, the guidance update for the type certificate granting from the Ehang management in the Q1 2022 earnings report is important. The above is for Ehang type certificate and stock movement in the short term. Regardless of the stock movement, Ehang has its long-term mission and other activities going on. Next, about Ehang's participation in VastMeta. The VastMeta was officially launched in on May 27, 2022, China time. 
Vast Meta is a metaverse art festival held from May 27 to May 29 in Nanjing, Jiangsu Province. The festival is divided into an offline metaverse physical exhibition and an online digital twin art gallery. The contemporary art and the most cutting-edge intelligent technology products in China will be presented digitally, and some exhibits will be permanently retained in the Vast Meta Metaverse Art Museum, allowing the audience to be immersed in the scene. The festival has two exhibition areas. 1. Art Exhibition Area 2. Science and Technology Exhibition Area Science and Technology Exhibition Area further has three subsections. Future Travel Future Home and Electronic Sound Surround EH216 is in the Future Travel section. For the offline metaverse physical exhibition, Ehang has the booth to display its Ehang 216. The following are some images taken before the festival launch. Here is an image showing the Ehang poster board at the booth. Here is an image showing part of the Ehang 216 at the booth. For the online metaverse gallery, presumably, you may wear a pair of metaverse virtual reality goggles to have immersive experience of Ehang 216. It is good to see that Ehang is associated with the green high tech and gradually spreading its influence through different events. More importantly for the stock upward movement, after the type certificate granting, each Ehang 216 commercial flight will become self-advertising. More and more people is expected to know Ehang, and proportionally more and more investors to join and buy the EH stock. Thanks for watching. This channel gives you update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies and culture. Please subscribe.